It's travel like you've never seen before. My name is India and today I'm gonna show you what it's like to travel from Israel to the United States during the pandemic. As you can see, the airport is empty, everything is socially distanced, and it is so quiet. 72 hours before coming here, I took a COVID test. Some countries require you to test negative for COVID before boarding your flight. The United States does not require this for those coming from Israel, nor do most states in the U.S. require 14 days of quarantine upon arrival. But I took the test anyways for extra assurance that I was not spreading the virus. And thankfully, I tested negative. Here at the airport, I'm feeling the fullness of all the changes we've experienced the past year. This experience is absolutely surreal. It's exciting, but nerve wracking. Today, I will be traveling from Tel Aviv, Israel to Georgia, USA. I do want to note that I got to the airport four hours before my flights. Typically for international flights, you get to the airport three hours ahead. But during this time, it's a requirement that you come four hours ahead of your flight. People that come only three hours ahead will be denied entrance to their flight. That's something important to remember if you plan on traveling from Israel to the United States. Let's go catch this flight. If you've ever wanted your space on a flight, well, now you have it. Most of the seats are blocked off for social distancing. That means that I not only get one seat, but two. You can also rest assured that most airlines now have extensive cleaning checklists to achieve 100% sanitation. I finally arrived to the United States of America. In the beginning, I was very scared to travel. I was not sure how safe it would be, but after this experience, I feel secure. Airports are typically unsanitary places, but now I actually feel more comfortable traveling because airports are making sanitation a priority. They should do this anyways, but COVID-19 has forced airports to clean up their act. And now that social distancing is mandatory, it just feels better not to be pushed around. Even though I had to take extra precautions while traveling, I had a pleasant journey. Be assured that if you decide to travel during this time, you will see airports and airlines doing their best to keep you healthy. And now that vaccines are finally being distributed, we are hoping for a safe and swift end to the pandemic. From inside Israel to out, this is what travel looks like today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.